The Altima may no longer be the best-selling Nissan, but it is still important to the company. For 2016, Nissan made some comprehensive updates, and this year nothing notable has changed beyond those updates last year. In this review, we will be covering every trim of the Altima, including the S, SR, SV, and SL, as well as the 4-cylinder and V6 engines. So let's go ahead and check it out. We are excited to announce our new partnership with Glenn Nissan here in Lexington, Kentucky. If you would like to check out their dealership and extensive inventory of all the Nissan models, we have provided a link to their website in the description. Before we begin, I just want to let you guys see the order of the trim levels. That way you don't get confused when I talk about the standard equipment. The Altima has the typical Nissan key fob, which is small and light. Every Altima gets remote keyless entry, which allows you to lock and unlock the door without touching the key. Let's go ahead and check out what's under the hood. The Altima will continue into 2017 with the same two engine choices. The volume option is this 2.5 liter i4, which produces 179 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque. Many of the Altima's rivals have made their top engines turbocharged 4 cylinders, but the Altima has opted to continue offering a V6 engine. This 3.5 liter VQ series V6 produces a stout 270 horsepower and 251 pound-feet of torque. Both engines are mated to Nissan's Xtronic continuously variable transmission. On 2.5 SR and both V6 trims, the transmission gets a sport mode which allows it to mimic the gear shifts of a traditional 7-speed automatic. Continuously variable transmissions are known for their efficiency, and the CVT is part of the reason the Altima gets such good fuel economy. Four-cylinder Altimas get 27 city, 39 highway, 31 combined, except for the 2.5 SR trim, which gets 26 city, 37 highway, 30 combined. The V6 model is also efficient, achieving 22 city, 32 highway, 26 combined for both the SR and the SL. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior design and features. Like I mentioned earlier, the Altima is coming off a mid-cycle refresh for the 2016 model year. During that refresh, many things were significantly changed, like the front grille. It received the latest interpretation of the V-Motion grille, which is more angular than it was before. This is finished in chrome on every model. The other big thing changed was the headlights. Not only is the overall shape 370Z-like, but the LED signature lighting also makes a boomerang shape. The headlights themselves are halogen on all but the 2.5 SL where they get LED low beams, and both the V6 models where they are fully LED. These fog lamps are included on 2.5 SR Altimas and above.
The Ultima comes with a variety of different wheel designs depending on the trim level. Our SR has unique 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels with the sport design. The two most basic trims get 16-inch steel wheels with covers, and the other four-cylinder models get 17-inch machined finished alloy wheels. Finally, the top-of-the-line 3.5 SL gets its own unique 18-inch alloys. All models get 11.7-inch ventilated disc brakes in the front and 11.5-inch solid disc brakes in the rear. The mirrors have turn signal indicators built in on higher spec models. The door handles are chrome on every trim level. The Altima is 191.9 inches long, which makes it slightly longer than the Toyota Camry, but slightly shorter than the Honda Accord. The Altima is also very safe. It scored the highest rating of good on all of the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tests, and superior on front crash prevention. That system plus collision warning and intelligent cruise control come in the optional tech package on SL models. The rear of the SR looks premium and sporty. In the center there is chrome on all models to visually widen the vehicle. The SR is the only trim to get this rear deck lid spoiler. The taillights have a similar design as the headlights. They are also smoked on the SR trim levels. One nice feature on the Altima is that every trim level gets dual chrome exhaust outlets. All Altimas have 18 gallon fuel tanks. This gets the four cylinder models fuel ranges of 558 miles and 540 miles for the 2.5 SR. The V6 powered trims get a range of 468 miles. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. The Altima offers two different interior color schemes and materials. All models pick between either beige or charcoal interior colors. Only the top end SL gets leather seating, while the rest are premium cloth. The door trim of the Altima is good for its class. You have stitched leather right through here where you would rest your arm. The driver's window is fully automatic. The mirror controls are on the door grab. The top of the door is also padded plastic. Altima's SR and up get this 8-way power driver's seat with power lumbar support. The base models will get a four-way manual seat with power adjustability as an option. All Altimas will get Nissan Zero Gravity seats, and the SR like we have here will get this blue color contrast stitching.
The cabin feels very spacious, and visibility out of the Altima is good. The front windshield is large, and the front windows are also nice and big. The rear window is also pretty big, and almost every model has a backup camera standard. Only the 3.5 SL has a power moonroof as standard, and it can be optioned onto the 2.5 SV and SL. The material quality of the Altima is on par with the competition. It is hard way up here, but the dash is mostly made of soft touch plastics, and fit and finish in here feels above average. Push button ignition is standard on all Altimas. What you'll find on most Altimas is this 5 inch screen, unless you opt for the 3.5 SL or the very base model which basically gets no screen at all. The gauges of the Altima are premium looking and are very similar to what you'll find on Infinities. Also this 4 inch multi information display is standard and can show tire pressures, fuel economy info, audio, etc. The SR and UP gets this nice 3 spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Our model also has blue color contrast stitching. The left side of the wheel controls the multifunction display and audio controls. Nice silver trim. The right side has cruise controls and phone controls. I'm sure you've noticed by now these large column mounted paddle shifters. They come on only the SR trim levels. Here are your wiper controls, your automatic headlamp and fog lamp controls. The steering wheel is manually tilt and telescoping on all models. Storage space inside the Altima is good. The center console can be opened in two different ways. You can open it to where you only have this top felt line storage area, great for valuables. You can also open the entire storage area. It is pretty deep, felt lined, and you have a 12 volt power outlet. You've got some more storage up here, and of course you have two cup holders. This area up here has a grippy rubber coating, so you can keep your phone close to the USB port, aux jack, or 12 volt outlet. Door storage is also abundant. Every Altima gets this shifter with chrome outlining to control the CVT. On models with paddle shifters, you have a DS mode, which allows you to shift manually. The backup camera is standard on every Altima besides the base 2.5 model. It does have a fixed projected path. Dual zone automatic climate control is standard only on the SV and SL models. On the rest of the models, the climate can be adjusted manually by using the high quality physical knobs and buttons. This 5 inch screen is standard on most Altimas and Nissan Connect with Navigation is optional on the SV and SL models.
Adding that will also add a larger 7 inch display to the mix, as well as several unique features. If you would like to see a detailed tutorial on the Nissan Connect system, please follow the link provided in the description. A single disc CD player is included on all Altimas. This Altima SR has the 6-speaker audio system. A 4-speaker system is standard on the 2.5, and a Bose 9-speaker system is standard on the SL models. I apologize for not being able to demo it, but we were having technical difficulties. An auto-dimming rearview mirror with home link garage door openers is included when you step up to the SL models. Up top you have a large sunglass holder. All models also get these LED lights for the interior. Overall, the interior of the Altima probably won't blow you away, but it is comfortable, spacious, and put together well, which are all characteristics customers are looking for. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seats and the cargo area. The rear door trim of the Altima is just as premium as the front. You have the same leather stitching and padding as in the front. You also have silver trim around the door handle. In the rear of the Altima, you have 36.1 inches of rear leg room and 37.1 inches of rear headroom. This makes it about an inch smaller in both regards when compared to the Toyota Camry and Honda Accord. The rear seats are a bit firmer than the 2017 Camry. You do have a seat back pocket for both seats. Up top you have an assist grip and coat hook, as well as some rear lighting. The headliner of the Altima is much nicer than what you'd find on a Toyota Camry. The center armrest is large and has two cup holders built in. Legroom typically isn't an issue for midsize sedans, and the Altima is no exception. The front seat is adjusted for my 5'8 brother, and I have an abundance of leg and foot room. The passenger seat is adjusted all the way back, and I still have quite a bit of space to move around. You can open the trunk of the Altima by using the key fob or by using the button integrated underneath the trunk lid. In the trunk of the Altima, you'll find 15.4 cubic feet of cargo space, which is large and right on par with the competition. The rear seats do fold 60-40 split on all models. 
This chrome trunk seal is an optional accessory. The rear of the Altima is a good place to be. The rear seats are a bit harder than my liking, but you can get nice features like rear climate vents on select models. The passenger seat is pretty soft and bolsters you well. It is four-way manually adjusting on all but the SLs, where it is four-way power adjusting. This part of the dash is made of textured soft-touch plastic. You do have this nice silver trim. The glove box is large and dampened. The passenger sun visor also has a mirror and light. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the 2017 Nissan Altima 2.5 SR. Please stay tuned for the pricing information of this particular model, as well as the rest of the Altima lineup. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to come along with us next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.